What's going on, guys? Tiger here. I have some Jamoris Keys, Road to Glory, running back out of USC, coming at you guys. And I know it's been a while since I put out the last video. It's been like almost a week, I think. And I did get a lot of new subscribers since I did put out the last Jamoris Keys episode. So if you guys want to go watch the other episodes, links will be in the description. But I'll just give you guys a quick summary. If you guys don't want to go check them out. The Morris Keys is a freshman that just came out of high school, actually, and he was number one ranked running back coming out of high school, and he had tons of scholarship offers, like tons of scholarship offers from all over the country, basically, and he traveled to visit schools. He visited Oregon, he, a school that he always wanted to go to since he was a kid. He visited Miami. He talked with K-Spade when he went to Miami. And K-Spade wanted him to go to Miami. But he decided to take his talents to South California and go to USC after getting a call from none other than Matt Barkley, the quarterback from USC, telling him that he should come to USC and continue the winning tradition that they have. And just try to help them win the national championship that they want. Now, USC has number one wide receiver in the country, Robert Woods, number one quarterback in the country, Matt Barkley. And now they have the potential to be the number one running back in the country and Jamoris Keys. Now, Jamoris only got a fourth string offer coming, coming out of high school. But he knew he would have to make a sacrifice if he wanted to come to USC. and But he knows he has the talent to quickly move up that depth chart. And you see here, he easily won the position battle. So he did move up to third string coming into the second game, the second or third game. I think this is, I recorded this a while ago. But yeah, he did win the position battle. He is now third on the depth chart, but he is starting for kick returns and punt returns. You see here, we travel all the way to the East Coast to take on Syracuse. And Syracuse aren't any slouches too. The stadium is like state of the art too. It's a nice stadium. And it's great to come to the East Coast because he did get offers from a lot of East Coast teams, such as Syracuse actually offered him a scholarship to start there as, as a running back. So this is one of the schools I was actually offering scholarship but you see here USC is number two in the country their NCAA um, lift ban thing for bowl games and such got lifted this year so they can finally compete for a BCS championship you see here Demoris didn't get one snap the whole game all he did was kick return and punt return and even that he didn't do anything you see here we take a look at the depth chart and in that game against Syracuse the number one running back on the depth chart did get injured so now he's injured indefinitely I don't think there's a way you can check but he is injured for a few weeks now so now Jamoris is has moved up to the number two running back on the depth chart so now that he's number two on the depth chart since the number one got injured and the last number two moved up to number one if you guys get that now hopefully he'll get more carries so we jump into this game against Stanford and Jamoris is excited because the coaches told him you're gonna get the first carry in this game. It's gonna happen against in this game. But so Jamoris is excited. He quickly returns that kick return and he sits on the bench. He's ready. He's ready for them to call his name. He's ready. He's getting excited. First quarter passes by and so far nothing. So he goes out with special teams and tries to return this punt. He's still excited. Uh, that the coaches promised him you will get some carries in this game so you see here he returns his punt he gets quickly brought down but he's still happy he does go back to the bench with a smile on his face he's still excited but they put him out on special teams again for field goal block and yeah again for kick returns we're right now in the second quarter no he didn't get any snaps yet at the running back position so he's he's still like excited about the, this because the coaches did promise him that he will get a snap. Second quarter is dwindling down, and still no snap, but he's still confident that the, the coaches will keep up with their ward right now. See here, he's trying to pump up the, cap, the crowd at Stanford, but 
it's yeah at Stanford so see here this this point goes backwards and yeah that was a pretty much a fail for your Morse he doesn't know what he was thinking but he's still excited that the coaches will hopefully keep their word so far nothing no snaps at the running back position he's still waiting though he's still waiting third quarter there is still time there's still the fourth quarter too the coaches did promise him that he will get some snaps he is the second string running back right now so he's he really wants a snap right now and they are winning 20 to 7 against stanford so maybe he will get a snap he's hoping so so he's coming here to return this punt and he ends up going nowhere again so he's still waiting for his turn and yeah nothing happened in that game he didn't get one carry that whole game one carry at all so Jamoris was pissed off he wanted to practice that day and just quickly didn't talk to anyone didn't do anything basically all he did was do his homework went to classes and that's it but yeah we're gonna jump into this Utah game the next game on their schedule and Jamoris didn't even go to talk to the coaching staff and ask them why he didn't put get put in the game basically all he does is I guess just wait for his chance now since they promised him but they did not come come up with the promise so hopefully he gets into this Utah game right now this is some Pac-12 action so we're in the first quarter right now still nothing and finally they call his number number one he will get his first carry ever right now and it is running out of a wildcat right now so he's gonna go in motion he takes the handoff and he breaks it away first down right there and it's great to get his first carry so you see here he quickly tells the quarterback go hurry up go hurry up against the coaches wish wishes because he does want to get another carry so he does the same play again the blocks are set up Demoris uses his speed get and gets into the end zone so finally he gets a touchdown and it is bittersweet guys only one only two carries this whole game and Demoris gets into the end zone so yeah is it will he finally get more respect from the coaches guys will he we'll see in the next video guys please leave this video a like if you enjoyed